Welcome back to the channel friends. On today's video, I'm going to demonstrate or do kind of like a step-by-step -step on how I build our 12 volt electric calcium chloride spray units. We're kind of transitioning 60% of our salt usage over to liquid. We do a lot of pre-treatment. Post-treatment works really well. We're not gonna segue completely out of rock salt, but I want something that is a little bit more stable in price and doesn't rely on the market as heavy as rock salt does. If we get a really extreme shortage, the tonnage prices go way through the roof. With liquid, I was told we have access to about 20 million gallons of calcium, liquid calcium chloride. So that's why we started building these units and I researched a lot of them trying to figure out what ones were the best and I am going to make a gas model eventually. The 12 volt model though is nice for doing like condos and stuff. It's not as noisy uh, almost at all uh, opposed to a gas unit but there are advantages to the gas unit. The gas units are going to put out more liquid. I did find a bigger pump that puts out about 20, 23 gallons per minute uh, which is great for an electric pump so we may swap that out in a couple of weeks. We'll just have to see how it goes. But for now, this is where it is. And I've, I've already welded together the, the spray bar and painted it. It's basically a piece of two by two um, tubing and a piece of two by two angle iron that I just welded to it. As you can see, it's just, and it slides right in the hitch. I see a lot of guys have smaller setups where they just kind of like zip tie it to. It's not like the the metal uh, portion of it doesn't go the full length of the boom. And these are, I mean, this is like PVC pipe and I, I'm afraid if it gets too cold and too brittle, bouncing around in the back, it may snap off. So I wanted it to be the whole way of the spray bar. And then on the ends of it, I actually have the threaded um, fittings. The only reason I did that instead of like caps in case you ever get anything in there, like debris, I don't know how you'd ever get it in there because our pump actually has a, uh, a filter on it, but if you do, you can pop these off and flush the system out real quick. So that's why I did this. These are gonna be for the ends. And then the center is a T, um, half inch threaded. And uh, actually, I have a, a cam lock system for this one so that you can just unhook the hose real quick and pull the spray bar out and, and set it aside in case you need to put a hitch in and haul a trailer or something like that. I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna connect it, and it with a, a, a barb fitting and a hose clamp. I just wanted it to be something easy like these cam lock systems, just unclamp and pull off. So uh, all the, the pump and the fittings and all the, all the hardware to assemble this thing, I'm going to list in the description below and they are going to be Amazon affiliate links so if you do use them we get a small commission on whatever you purchase so that would be greatly appreciated and uh, yeah let's just get into uh, how we uh, how we build these all right I'm gonna go over real quickly how this works there is this two inch cam lock fitting that goes in the bottom of these IBC totes and it locks on I have a a two inch reducer down to an inch and then from an inch reducer down to, uh, I do believe half inch or maybe it's three quarter. And then it comes out here and it will connect into the side of this pump. And then there's a filter with a clear um, bowl on it and you pull the filter off and there's looks like there's already stuff. There must've been debris in the bottom of that tank. And that is why we're gonna have the ends on the spray bar so we can flush it out, but it's a C-Flow pump. I use those, they're really good and reliable. They, uh, they work almost all the time, <laughs> but I haven't had one not work on me, but it's gonna come out here to this T, and this the bottom portion of this T is gonna actually go to the spray wand so I can do sidewalks. We're gonna put a rubber piece in between here. I'm gonna kinda loop it around to this, and this will be the shutoff will be for the spray bar. So you can actually just shut the spray bar off and use the, the wand on the sidewalks only, or you can turn it on and use both. You're not gonna get as much pressure out of either if you use both at the same time, just because the pump will only put out so much, but you know, if you can spray sidewalks and 
and do up by the the doors with the spray bar you're in good shape so i'm going to mount this here with these u-bolts and that way it's nice and secure i see a lot of guys that actually take all their hardware and their pump and everything and they don't mount it on a uh they don't mount it on like a board. I have this steel plate, I'm gonna paint it and everything, and it's gonna be mounted right here. I see a lot of guys just like zip tie everything onto the cage, which is fine, I guess, it works, but I want it to kind of look a little bit more professional, so I'm mounting everything on the board. So yeah, we'll just get into it, and I'll show you kind of what I'm doing, probably talk a little bit along the way, and then uh, maybe a little background music too. So now that we got it all assembled, we're outside, we're gonna take it for a spin. Okay, quick recap. We have the 12 volt pump right here. It's teed off to a spray handle. Then it goes down here to a, uh, a quarter turn valve that goes down to our spray bar, which is a quick disconnect right here so you can pull the spray bar out. It was the bottom of the tank there. Shut it off usually when you're in transport, but that's pretty much about it. The wire harness is in the description below, super easy. Plugs into your cigarette lighter, on off switch. Spray your parking lots, a lot cheaper than rock salt. And you can pre-treat your parking lots too, which is real nice. And uh, I'll go over a video on advantages and disadvantages of rock salt and liquid calcium chloride. So, all right guys, get out of here. We'll see you in the next video.